do you ever look back at the 22-year-old version of yourself and say, if only I knew then what I know now, I do that all the time. Well, it's never too late. Well, Laura Gassner Odding's new book, Limitless, How to Ignore Everybody, Carve Your Own Path, and Live Your Best Life, has some simple tips to improve your own success happiness or both. I'm just so happy you're here. Oh, well, thank you so much for having me. You know, I ask a lot of friends, what do they think their best, you know, year was when they were, you know, growing up, a lot of people say in college or back when they're 18, 19, and 20. But now that we're getting up there in 40s and 50s, we're like, oh, it's too late to do anything. But you say you have some simple tips, starting with, there are very few decisions in life that are permanent. And I have to say this, I'm like, well, death and taxes. It's true. I give a lot of public speak uh, speaking. And uh, one time in my audience, there was an astronaut and I was up on stage talking about how failure is not finale, it's fulcrum. And then I looked at him and I was like, except for you, for you, it's definitely, it's definitely finale. But for the rest of us, there are so few decisions in life that are permanent. And we always have an opportunity to change and to grow and to evolve. Well, I always tell um, my friends or girls, this is, might be the darkest moment, but it gets better. So is that where you're kind of alluding to? Like Absolutely. if you're, if you fail and it's miserable and it hurts, you kind of say, you know, it's going to get better. In 20 years of doing executive search, I can tell you that the most interesting people, in fact, the only interesting people that I interviewed are the ones that took right turns and left turns and U-turns and the ones who are like, wow, there's this moment where everything changes and there was the me before and there's the mm -hmm. me after. And the me after is so much better. Well, speaking of better, you say travel. Why is that so important? And what if I can't afford it, but you're saying travel, get out there, do. So if I could talk to my 22-year-old self, I would say you are never going to be so unencumbered. You are never going to be so willing to sleep on a gross cot. You are never going to be so willing <laughs> to take, you know, the worst travel with the worst routes and being the coach in the back in the center by the lavatory as you are right now right so like go see the world jump in the nile kiss a stranger under the eiffel tower wow. build a hut in ecuador just you like will it. be forever changed but you have to have experiences and the best way to get experiences is to just go out in the world and travel and you know challenge yourself well i was gonna say you can't take money with you but experiences and memories is what you can save um you're not that busy is another thing you say to people you're not that busy well i'm looking at myself i'm, I'm busy yeah. But you say to yourself, you're really not. Yeah, well, certainly not when you're 22. I have young people all the time that say, oh, I wish I could work out more. I wish I could volunteer. I wish I could go back to school. And I'm like, you can, right? We get so busy by the, like, you should and you must and you need. And all those things that everybody puts on our plate, all that minutiae, and we built such molehills out of it. And then when we do that, we get distracted from what we really want. The reason that I'm able to accomplish what I'm able to accomplish, the reason you're able to accomplish what you're able to accomplish is that you wanted it more than the next person. Mm -hmm. So what do you actually want? I want us to stop defining success by what everyone else says is going to be meaningful to us figure out what matters to us, and then go after that with everything we have. Okay, so I get that. And now you're saying, stop chasing the girl, the boy, the promotion, and the raise. But aren't we supposed to be aspirational? Aren't we supposed to chase things and dream and put them on our vision board? Yeah, but that's not enough. It's not enough to want it. It's not enough to say, oh, I want more money. I want the promotion. We have to be the person that the universe actually wants to bring that stuff to. And the way to do that is not to wait around. The way to do that is to learn a new skill, to learn how to code, to travel, to go do something interesting, read a newspaper, watch a TED talk, become the person that other people want to be around, become the person other people want to assign the promotion to. And when okay. you do that, you move forward. And last but not least, very quickly, no one gets a vote unless you give it to them. It's meaning, now don't give someone the power to make you feel bad. Oh, we got to stop giving votes in our lives to people who shouldn't even have voices. Figure out what matters to you. Ignore everyone else, carve your own path, and go after that, and that's where happiness comes from. All right, Laura Gassner Otting, good advice, very good advice. I wish I could go back and do some of that, but I'm going to do it now. Limitless is available now, right, Vanessa? We, I'm, we're going to go you're travel. Booking, you're booking your ticket to Paris right now, I and know. And I'm going to, yeah, to kiss, kiss someone in the Eiffel Tower. Or take your hand <laughs>